Hey everybody and welcome to another tips and tricks video on OOTP22. In this one I want to test the new trading difficulty and these are the settings I'm going to use first. Trading difficulty on the hardest possible, trading preference on three quarters um, because that's what I think is realistic. It's not all about prospects in MLB, yes, the teams like prospects a lot. But it's not all about prospects like you see blockbuster trades for Lindor and Betts and so on. Uh, yeah, young guys, sure. Uh, very good young guys, of course, but not all about prospects. That's why I'm using three quarters here. Evaluation settings 40, 30, 20, 10. That's kind of my jam. Rhyme in accidentally. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. I was talking about this stuff with Matt Arnold. Uh, one of the OOTP developers via chat in the forums and he said quote I think the hardest setting this year is intended to be even harder than the preview very hard level so it's more of an Iron Man mode than something I would necessarily recommend so this is Iron Man mode <laughs> maybe he means both up to the fullest Iron Man mode I'll leave it uh, there right now. In my first look video, I tried to trade for bias and they wouldn't do a one for one trade with me, not even for Acuna. Um, later, they would have accepted Acuna and Albies for bias at the beginning of the season uh, with these settings. So what I did is I simulated up to the trade deadline, which is where it should be the easiest for me to trade. I'm looking for a player on the trading block who's on a team that is not going to make the playoffs. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. That's what I think will be the easiest to get a player. And if it's un impossible to get a player, then then this is too hard of a difficulty so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna take a look at free no no not free agents uh trading block trading block who's on the trade bias is on the trading block okay okay chicago how are you doing standings chicago won't make the that's, that's perfect that is perfect. They wouldn't have given me bias for Acuna. They would have only accepted Acuna and Albies at the beginning of the season. Now it's a trading deadline. They won't make the playoffs. They want to give him up. We, yeah, I just simulated. I didn't do anything. Uh, so don't, <laughs> don't bother the standings. But we're still in it, kind of. Uh, five and a half games back from the wild card. So... It could be realistic to try and make it to trade for someone. Uh, how are our our shortstops doing? Uh, show me batting stats. I haven't uh, haven't edited the stats yet for me. So what did Swanson do? Yeah, he's okay. Swanson is doing okay. All right. Nonetheless, let's try and trade for bias again. Trade options, trade for player. All right, make this work. Now they would accept Acuna or Albies. All right, that's the first change. Let's add in Acuna and try to see who else would would be liked. Uh, 75 they would still complete the trade so the trade would be completed with Acuna and 100% uh, of salary retained which means we could have um, swapped in a a prospect or something like that but I want to test out who you like okay now who would make this work as well if I add in a first round pick. Pache, Zoroka, Freed, not interested in giving up any of those guys. Um, they don't have a second round pick. Let's add in a third round pick. And 
still those guys. Okay, let's add in a fourth. Who would make this work? Oh, now we have some guys here. Uh, okay, okay, let's just take this Franklin guy who's playing in high A, playing okay in high A, but I don't think I need him, especially if I get bias instead. Okay, let's add in Franklin, remove everything else, and see who would make this work. Still only Acuna and Albis. Okay, let's add in Acuna back. Go 100% again. Go with the third round pick this time. And they wouldn't accept it right away. Who would make this work? Okay, Albis, Alexander, De La Cruz, Freed, Ozuna, Soraka. <laughs> A lot of guys, definitely a lot of guys would make this work. Uh, Alexander, he's playing good. But I think I can add him. Oops. There you go. Let's remove him. Remove zero. Who would make this work? Still only those two. <laughs> Let's get back to Acuna. Add in draft pick first round now. Who would make this work? Are Swanson? That would make sense. To swap the two short stops. Swanson, remove Acuna, remove the first. Zero. Okay. Who would make this work? <laughs> now we have some guys. Okay. Okay. Let's add in... I know Votnik is probably a good prospect, right? He's got a high ERA. His stats... Yeah, he could be someone, but we want to win now. So, of course, we have to give up prospects. So let's add in for the sake of this video without... Uh, any further investigation? Mm, can we edit this a bit though? What about if I... Oh, I can remove Alexander. All right. Can I remove Franklin? No. Damn it. Where, where's Franklin? <laughs> Make this work. Uh, Franklin. Let's get him back in there. Can I remove Swanson? Probably not. No. So this would be a deal on the hardest difficulty with three quarters of favoring prospects. Javier Baez for Victor Votnik, Jesse Franklin and Dan Spee Swanson, which looks like a good deal to me, to be honest. Looks like a good deal to me, even though Baez is not playing that great now. So um, he's a two war guy with an OPS plus of 87. Swanson is a 2.1 war guy with an OPS plus of 109. A 50 out of 50 for a 60 out of 60. So yeah, it looks like we're overpaying a little bit to get the guy we kind of want. Interesting. So it, it doesn't look like Iron Man mode to me. It does not look like Iron Man mode. Now let's have a look if we lower the difficulty a little bit. What would that do? League settings. Oh, no, not lead settings. Global settings. AI settings. All right. If we bump that down for one, what would that do? Uh, team selected Chicago Cubs. Uh, let's remove everybody. And try no, not bias. I'm, I want to still trade for bias. Uh, make this work now. So now we have more options here. We have Anderson and Pache. Mm, but I still wouldn't do a one for one uh, with those guys. Let's try this again. Retain salary for 100. Still completion would be possible at a third. Completion would still be pro possible at a first. No, make this work. 
Let's see. Breed Soroka Albies. No, I don't want to trade any of those guys. How about I add in a fifth? Make this work. Nothing changed. Forget the fifth. Let's add in a fourth. A fourth. No, a third. Come on, work with me here. All right, now we have some guys. Fried Anderson, Pache, Shoemake, a shortstop prospect, a very good shortstop pro prospect. Isn't there defensively yet, but could be. How about I add in a second? <laughs> now I'm getting kind of cheap. Make this work. Mm, okay, okay, now we, Franklin. Let's add in Franklin again. Yeah, let's add in Franklin again and see what happens. Remove everything again and make this work. Still the same here. So add in Acuna again. Should do 100% at draft pick a first. That obviously worked, which is why we have to add in another a third, right? That worked. No, it didn't. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? I thought that's what we did in the last. Oh, oh no, we had a draft picked in as well. So what would make this work? <laughs> right, Swanson again. Let's add him Swanson again. Yeah, makes sense. Let's add him and see. Oh, complete trade. That would be enough now. So we wouldn't have to add in another prospect. We just would have Franklin and Swanson. Yeah, I don't know what's more realistic, to be honest with you. Uh, hmm. We're at the trade deadline. We're trading someone with an high for someone with an higher reputation with someone who's better right now <laughs> how old is swanson it's 27 bias is 28 okay yeah interesting question i guess i guess yeah i don't know what to guess League settings, game settings, AI settings. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't think the highest difficulty is really that bad. The problem probably was at the beginning of the season that the Cubs thought they are a contender or could contend, could compete, and didn't want to trade away one of their best players. Now they know they are not good. They won't make the playoffs. And now they are happy to get a replacement and a prospect out of it, which sounds realistic to me. So maybe these are the settings to go. Yeah. I'll do some more testing, but I believe uh, that could be the trading difficulty that at least I will use in my franchise mode, GM mode, however you want to call it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.